Good morning. So today we're going to look at adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing real numbers. So when we do this section, we are not going to be using our calculator. So I want you all to just kind of get comfortable with this a little bit. So um, if we have a number line, on that number line, in the middle of that number line, we have a zero. Everything to the right of that zero is going to be positive numbers and everything to the left is going to be negative numbers. Okay, so when we add and subtract, we are actually um, having sometimes to look at the signs of the values. So when we add and subtract real numbers, Okay, when they are the same signs, okay, so when the signs are the same, we are going to add the two numbers together. Okay, and then we're going to keep the sign. So we will add and then keep the sign. Okay. All right. When the signs are opposite, you are going to subtract and take the sign of the larger number. Okay, so also anytime you have a minus a negative number, that's going to turn into a plus number. Okay, so anytime you have minus a negative number, it's going to turn into a big addition sign. Okay, so let's do some examples here. So... If I said negative 3 plus an 8, those are opposite signs, so we're going to subtract. So 8 minus 3 gives me a 5, and I'm going to take the sign of the larger number, which is a positive. Okay, what about negative 2 minus a 5? Those are both subtraction signs, so those are both negative numbers, so negative 2 minus 5, so those are the same signs, so we're going to add, so 2 plus 5 gives me a 7. The signs on both of those are a negative. Okay, so what about negative 1 minus a 3? So negative 1 minus a 3, same sign, so that's going to give me a negative 4. Alright, so what about negative 1 plus a negative 1? Or negative 7, I'm sorry. Negative 7 plus a negative 1. Those are the same sign, so we're going to add and keep the sign. Okay, so this one right here is what I mean by when we have a minus a negative. So 9 minus a negative 2, that turns into 9 plus a 2. So 9 plus a 2 is going to give me an 11. So negative 12 minus a negative 3. So negative 12 minus a negative. So that minus a negative right there turns into a plus a 3. So negative 12 plus a 3 is their opposite sign. So we subtract and keep the sign of the larger number, which is going to be a negative. Okay. Okay, 
so when we multiply or divide, so multiply or dividing real numbers, okay? So when we multiply a negative times a negative, that's always going to give me a positive. If I multiply a negative times a positive, then that's going to give me a negative. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. A negative divided by a positive or a positive divided by a negative is going to always be a negative. So if we have an even number of negative numbers together, we will always give a positive answer. So two even so there's two right here, so a negative times a negative, it gives you a positive. So if I had four negatives that I was going to multiply together, it would still give me a positive answer. Okay, if I was to multiply an odd number of negatives, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, it's always going to give me a negative number. Okay, all right. So, let's do an example here. So, 4 times a negative 2. So, these the parentheses right here are touching each other, so that means multiplication. So, 4 times a negative 2 gives me a negative 8. Um, negative 3 times a negative 6. A negative times a negative is going to give me a positive. It's going to give me an 18. Okay, so 2 times a negative 3. Just write in different ways that you may be seeing this. So 2 times a negative 3 is going to give me a negative 6. A negative 2 times a 5. Negative times a positive is a negative. So 2 times 5 gives me a 10. So negative 24 divided by a negative 4 gives me a positive 6. Alright, negative 3 times a negative 1 times a negative 2 times a negative 1. So there's four negatives here. So 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 1 is 2. Um, 3 times 2 is a 6. Okay, so an even number of negatives always gives a positive answer. Okay. Um, last thing in this section is the rules of exponents. So with your exponents, you have a base and the exponent. So the exponent is the little number, and the base is your, the bigger number down here. Okay? So, an exponent tells you how many times you're going to multiply the base together. Okay, so how many times Okay. So, if I had a 2 cubed, that means I'm going to take my base 2 and multiply it 3 times. So, 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2 times 2 gives me an 8. Okay, so here, this is a negative 2 cubed. So, that means a negative 2 times a negative 2 times a negative 2. So there's three negatives, so my answer is going to be a negative. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is an 8. So it's going to be a negative 8. All right, I want to show you this one because um, it changes a little bit. So do you see how this is a little bit different than this one right here? Right here, the base includes the negative here. In this one over here, the base is not going to be included um, with that negative number. So what this one says is negative times your 2 squared, pretty much. So negative, so that's just an, say an imaginary 1 there. So negative 1 
times 2 times 2. So this is going to give me a negative 4. So anytime there, there is a parentheses around the base like that, it's going to, the negative is going to be included in the base. Okay? When there's not, it's not going to be included. Okay? All right, so that is section 1.4. So now you're going to be able to do your homework. If you have any questions, please let me know.